First things first, you're going to need a program to help you do this. That is Minecraft Noteblock Studio right here. The rest is very, very simple. I'm going to show you how to do this all the way through. I'll put all of the links in the description for everything you're going to need, so don't worry about that. The first link is going to be this program right here. The second link is going to be midiworld.com, which is basically a library for MIDI files, which are a different type of sound file. The most common one would be mp3 that you would know, but MIDI is different from that. There are many different MIDI libraries out there, so if you want to look for your own libraries, I'm sure you can find some. This is the one that I found that seemed to be the most reliable, so it's not going to have everything you're looking for. Hopefully it has what you're looking for, but if it doesn't, I'm sorry, can't really help you there. You might be thinking, well, why don't you just convert mp3 files into MIDI files instead of going through the website? but I'm leaving that out of the tutorial on purpose. I did all the research for you. There are ways to download MP3 and MP4 files off of YouTube. That was the easy part, but I tried everything I could, literally everything. It took me like so many hours of research just to figure out that it wouldn't work. I tried different software and all that. And so basically you cannot convert an MP3 to a MIDI easily and then put it in this program. It just won't sound good anyways. If you're feeling really enthusiastic, go ahead, try it, see if you can do it, but I could not get it to sound right, it just wasn't working, so good luck if you try that. So once you find a song that you actually like on that mini library, this is all you have to do. Open this up, you're going to do generate song out of a file, and you're just going to pick the mini file, and it's going to say MID audio file, just like that. And I'm going to show you a few examples of what sounds good and what doesn't sound so great and how you can actually tweak it to make it sound better. So we're going to go with good old Hakuna Matata, or as I like to call it, Dakuna Matata. And then as soon as you do that, see, it's going to bring this up and we're just going to hit import. You want, you want to leave all this on default. You want all of this. Trust me. We can fix any of this later, like same, te same tempo as in file. It's not probably going to work on your first try, but I'll show you how to fix that. So all you do is hit import, very simple. And we're just gonna take a listen. All right, so you're pretty much already halfway done. Uh, but I'm going to show you around this program a little bit more because this isn't this isn't it. This obviously is not all that's needed. There's more to it than that. So what you're going to need to do, it's just not compatible up here. It's going to happen most of the time with most of your songs. The reason is, is because the tempo of the song doesn't match the tempo that you can actually output in Minecraft. So, tempo, yeah, there it is. It's 12 and it's got to be 10. So we're going to fix that. Just hit that button right there. And if any of these go wrong, just fix it. That's all you gotta do is there's gonna say a button that either says fix or something along those lines and you're just gonna fix it. It's okay. And now it's gonna sound a little different. It might not sound as spot on, but it's gonna work. We're gonna restart it. Let's give it another listen. All right, I would say that is pretty good. Now, if you don't like the sound of individual instruments, you can change them all one by one. They're all up here, in case you're wondering about that. All the instruments in Minecraft are up here. So that's very simple. Um, there's also, you know, different layers. All, every single row right here is a different layer of blocks, and these need to play at the same time. So this, these note blocks in this line all need to happen in Minecraft at the same time. If it doesn't, then it's not going to be even remotely close to what you want it to be. Sorry, actually, I don't believe these are all of the instruments. I think there's actually more, but these are all that are in the program right now, I think. I, I think. I might be wrong about that, but I'm not too sure. But as soon as you fix the compatible issues, you're pretty much good to go. You're going to hit File. You're going to go to um, Export as Schematic. This is if you want to do it through the easy way, which is going to be... MC Edit. If you use MC Edit, you can literally just import it like that and you're good to go. 
Um, if you don't use MC Edit, it's going to be pretty challenging. Now, let's say you don't want to use MC Edit for some reason. You just don't want to, or you can't. Let's say you're on a server or something like that. There is not going to be an easy way to do it. You're going to have to place all of these note blocks manually, which for some songs obviously will be easier. Uh, Hakuna Matata is, as you can see, there's quite a lot of note blocks in that. That's going to be quite the challenge because you're also going to need to know the notes and what every instrument is. So the more complicated the song, the longer that's going to take. So I would definitely recommend using MC Edit if you're trying to do this in some kind of Minecraft single player world. So let's try importing a different song here. Let's try, let's try this one. We got Zelda, of course, classic. We're going to import it same way. Now let's take a listen, see if it sounds right. Okay, that's way too slow, it's not gonna work. So, it's saying tempo is 4.75 ticks per second. Now it's gonna up it to five because our options are two and a half, five, or 10, but that is way too slow for us. You don't want it to be that slow. So this is a very simple song, very, very easy song to do if you wanna do this in some kind of server or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to up this to 10 because that's our only other option. So you can change it by like by doing that just as I did there. You're going to just click it and you just go up or you go down. It goes up to 20. You're probably not going to want to do 20. That's insanely fast. I think that sounds a little better, wouldn't you say? I would say so. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, we'll do another one just just in case for some reason you're still not understanding. Uh, but that's basically it. We're gonna we're gonna try Castlevania import. So let's see. Now oh, stop. Wait. Tempo. You might as well do that in the beginning. You're gonna have to do it anyways. So. Sounds good. All right, so now you know. Now you know how to do it. Like I said, it's it's really kind of a tough thing if you're trying to do some of these in a server. You're going to want to find a simpler song, and this one is not the one you're going to want to use, probably, because there's a lot to this song. Now, if you're willing to put in the time, you can obviously do all these, and these are actually quite easy to learn. Like, these letters and numbers look kind of scary at first, but... Um, you can convert them pretty easily into Minecraft once you learn like what, what these mean. So, best of luck to you guys. Oh, and by the way, if I helped you, please leave a like. It would help out tremendously. I'd really appreciate it. Also, less than 1% of you guys are actually subscribed to my channel. So, if you guys would subscribe, I would super, super appreciate that as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.